My name's Emma Sharp and I'm a consultant clinical psychologist and I work with the Learning Disability Service. So I'm the clinical lead for psychological services for adults with learning disabilities and we also work very closely with CAMS LD, so serving people with learning disabilities across the place. So I suppose we've got a mission statement that we try and work quite closely to and it's about providing high quality psychological services to people with learning disabilities and the systems that support them. So sometimes that's working individually with people with learning disabilities on kind of coexisting mental health problems and sometimes it's working with families or carers about supporting the person with a learning disability and um, that's open to our service. So a, kind of a mixture of different things. We try and use evidence-based interventions and I suppose trying to make Lanarkshire a more psychologically informed place. There's a wide spectrum of patients, yeah, and I think sometimes there's some confusion about a learning difficulty and a learning disability as well. So um, learning difficulties like dyslexia and dyspraxia and things like that wouldn't be covered within our service. So uh, people with a learning disability have a lifelong condition that affects their ability to I suppose live independently it's, and then for coming to our service they usually have some kind of concurrent mental health problems as well so we do see a real so it does vary from people who have a very mild learning disability and are living independently in the community to people with very severe and profound disabilities who maybe can't communicate themselves and need support for all aspects of their daily living. I think our team have had a lot to deal with over the last four years and um, COVID really hit our team quite hard because I think people with learning disabilities didn't always have access to, you know, the things that suddenly came into all of our lives, like using digital technologies, you know, we had a lot of people who were shielding, so who were unable to access services in the same way. I think there really was a dig the digital deficit hit quite bad. There was people who'd never had Wi-Fi in their houses, so we had to apply for funding to get dongles and things like that. So what we did well as a team, I think, is we really... Um, worked together, we came together through that, there was a lot of ideas shared, there was a lot of um, enthusiasm for making it work and making sure that our services um, to people with learning disabilities still continued the best that they could at the time. We really made kind of referrals to, I think it was Stay Connected from the Scottish Government where we got dongles that we were able to lend to people, we got funding for iPads, we supported people to apply for iPads through government funding as well. We had to simplify all the materials that were being used because the standard Attend Anywhere guides were not easy read enough for our patients. Sometimes we had to phone coach people through getting online in the first place. So we did, you know, our own ones with screenshots, people accessing it and things. So there was a lot of work went into keeping services going the best that we could. So I suppose it is recognition of all the hard work that the team has put in. And I think every member of the team from the, the people in CAMS LD, the people here, our admin staff, everybody put in so much hard work into maintaining and keeping services going. So it's a recognition of that and a recognition of everybody's hard work and the part everybody played in that. And I think it's also just a chance to celebrate what we do well, because I think we do do connection well and I think we do compassionate practice well. And I think being able to share that more widely is really important to us.